Hi, I'm Carl with App, and in this video we're going to take a look at the LG UK6300 series LED. The TV that we're using for this particular video is the 55 inch version, but it also comes in a 43, 49, and 65 inch version, all of which can be picked up right here at App in Glenview or online at app.com. To get things started, we'll take a look at the outside. This one has a slightly thicker bezel than we've seen on some of the other sets out there right now, but it's still not too bad. It is, after all, a more entry-level TV. The nice part about the bezel is that it's uniform all the way around, so even though it's a little bit thicker, it still looks really good when you hang it on the wall. If you're not putting this on the wall, you'll be able to utilize the pedestals that it comes with. There's two feet that attach to the bottom of the set, and they hold it firmly in place. They're wide set too. They're almost all the way to the edge of the TV, so you'll want to double check the size of your furniture just to make sure it'll fit. Around the back, you'll find all the inputs. On the UK6300 series, you get three HDMIs, all are version 2.0, with one having an audio return channel, two USBs, a shared component and composite input, and an optical audio output, which you should take advantage of by adding a soundbar since the speakers that come with this series are not overly powerful. They're not bad, but the picture deserves better sound to go along with it. Or, if you're looking for a wireless solution, this also has SoundSync built in, which is going to let you connect select LG soundbars and Bluetooth speakers wirelessly, and you can use the TV's remote control to adjust the volume. Now moving on, we'll touch on some of the smart features. This set, like many of the other new LG TVs, has their ThinQ technology built in, which allows you to make the set a hub for all your connected smart devices, but to really take advantage of all the features that this has to offer, you'll want to invest in LG's Magic Remote, which is going to be available separately. That'll let you use things like voice commands to control your TV, as well as Google Assistant. Or, if you're not a Google person, you can actually add an Alexa device to the TV as well. You also get a full web browser and the Channel Plus app, which is great for people looking to cut the cord. With Channel Plus, you get access to a number of different digital channels for free through your home network. It's not a full cable replacement, but it's a pretty nice selection of content. There's also a pretty fully stocked app catalog that you can download from to give you plenty of other options. Now let's talk about the picture. This IPS panel gives you a nice wide viewing angle and color quality was very good for the price point. It was slightly on the saturated side on most of the settings, but it was better than I was expecting it to be given the price of the TV. The panel has a native refresh rate of 60 Hz and LG bumps that up to 120 through their motion processing. There's a little bit of a trail when you're watching fast action, but just like the color quality, it was better than what I thought it would be. It's definitely adequate for someone looking for a 4K TV that isn't going to break the bank. It supports Dolby Vision, HDR10, and HLG, so when you're watching the right content, you're going to get a really terrific picture. But honestly, even on regular 1080p content, you'll still be happy. So overall, this is going to be a great TV for someone that wants a great value. It feels like you get more than what you're paying for. It's got a better than average picture, motion's handled well for most applications, and having Channel Plus is a nice benefit for anyone looking to cut the cord. As always, we appreciate you checking out our video, and don't forget to subscribe so you get updates whenever we upload new content.